All right, guys. So I figured I'd make a video about Dad's truck. Uh, it's a '85 Dodge. Uh, it's a W100 four-wheel drive. Uh, truck's really clean. He uh, bought it from a guy down the street from me. Um, now that old man had bought the truck brand new, and he passed away. His grandson kind of took the truck over and he did some stuff to it um and then dad bought it off the grandson after his grandma passed away and they were selling the house and the garage the truck was sitting in so that's how we acquired it um truck's stupid clean uh to the best of my knowledge it's never seen snow or salts here in ohio um he just used the truck to haul his haul his camper and that was pretty much it um but it's a really clean truck the truck was pretty much appearance wise and interior wise and everything it was absolutely bone stock when we got it, it had stock wheels with the hubcaps on it. it had the big aluminum diamond plate running boards on it um we took that stuff off dad just bought a set of mickey thompson wheels for it um we put those on the tires that were on the truck these wheels are 15 by 12s and the tires that were on it were 31 10 50s and all we did was flip the tires with the white letters facing out instead of in um but yeah i'll go ahead and show you guys the truck and uh we'll go from there all right so here it is this is dad's 1985 truck um I'll go ahead and show you the stuff that is not very good on the truck that I wish the grandson would have just left it alone. Um, I'll show you the frame and stuff though. And for an Ohio vehicle to look like this, it's kind of crazy. But bed's rhino lined. Interior of it. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But as you see, it's got air conditioning, but it wasn't a factory option air conditioning. The paperwork for the air conditioning is in a glove box. If you look, that stuff's double-sided taped on those vents. And then also has aftermarket cruise control, which the cruise does work. Um, but the air does not work. Which we'll get into that in a minute. Get this heavy hood open with one hand. Okay so this is what we got got a 30 over 318 lenati cam wheel end intake big old holly carburetor for some reason uh it's got msd pro billet distributor um i believe it's a blaster two coil i'm assuming i don't know it's got a 6al box she's got the headers yep and they leak um but there's a sticker of the air conditioning that was added onto the vehicle. Uh, still has the factory jack down there. All the factory jack stuff. Um, sad part is, is the truck's got nice parts on it. Like those are hooker headers. MSD wires. There's the add-on cruise control. Uh, I went through and straightened up a lot of the wiring because it was just a mess. Um, there was stuff just going all over the place for the MSD crab and everything else. And I tucked it in with the factory wiring harness there, ran it in here and comes up here. I don't know if I have any before pictures or not, but yeah, it was just absolutely nasty. Um, but yeah, this is it. So I, we have the original valve covers, the original intake. We don't have the original distributor. Uh, we don't have the exhaust manifolds. We don't have the original kick down for the two barrel. We don't have none of that stuff, which kind of really sucks because we'd like to put it back to original and take all this performance stuff off. Some of you guys like it. Some of you guys like performance stuff like this. Um, for a truck like this, for what it is, we would just like it to be original, um, being how the truck looks and everything else. But um, I'm fired up here really quick. I think I got the keys with me. 
So that temperature gauge, I guarantee the factory temperature gauge works, but the grandson put it in. But let me show you what the issue is. So I'm gonna put you where my head is, okay? Yeah. You gotta lean clear over to see the temp gauge. When there's a perfectly good one right there, that probably works. So we may end up hooking that one back up. Uh, stereo works, um, the cargo light works on the back of the cab. Go ahead and start it up. You can already hear the header gasket leaking, of course. got an electric choke on it. But yeah, that's, that's Dad's truck. It's a pretty nice old truck. Um, the Mach 1, I did, we did get it running. Um, haven't drove it. I got to put the drive shaft back in it because there's nothing connecting it right now. For some odd reason, when people start tearing a car apart, they just do some weird stuff. I I don't know why the drive shaft's out of it. There's no need for the drive shaft to be out of it. Drive shaft's out of it. I got the drive shaft with the car as well. So, um, and then here's the one Krager I do have for the car. So, but that thing does run. Um, I'm gonna get a video up of it running and everything else. But, for the time being, a bunch of people like Dad's truck, so I thought I'd take a quick little video of it. It's got an electric choke on it. And he's selling it. Why? I don't know. That's what Dad does. Dad sold the Cuda, the shaker car. And there she is. That choke hangs up or something. But yeah, that's... That's the truck. All right, let me just shut the truck off. So, if you guys like the videos, like and subscribe. And I got uh, some more videos I'm going to do. And we do a little bit of everything. It's just not Mopars. It's just not Mustangs. Um, it's not just LS stuff. We do a little bit of everything. Um, <coughs> the truck we done did everything we're going to do to it i think um so we're about done with messing with that thing oh i took the tint off the truck as well when we got it, it had purple tint on it it was all faded hash had a uh, fishes on the back window and stuff and evidently the old man was a fisherman um but um i'm going to get back on the mach one here shortly it's a trash truck. He's pretty cool. Um, start messing with it. My buddy, he's wanting to buy the car off of me really bad for a project for him and his son. So I may sell it. That's what that's what that's what I do. I don't know. I may not. But I may sell it. Um, but I want to get it driving, and you know, like I said, the old man has cancer um, I really want to get this thing running and he just lives on the next block over and I want to take him and um, we'll go burn these Daytona SR tires off the back of this thing chances are it's probably a one wheel peel that's fine he'll still love it uh, I'll probably even let him drive the thing because I mean if he hurts it or whatever, I mean, it is what it is, you know, he, uh, he's sick. So I don't, I don't care about hurting my cars. Um, I run my cars. I beat on them very hard, but I also maintain my cars. Um, I don't like it when someone builds something and they're scared to blow it up. Does it suck? Yeah. Yeah. It sucks if you blow something up, but why build it? and not do what you're supposed to do with it, okay? It's mechanical. Anything mechanical will fail 
It doesn't matter who's driving. It doesn't matter if I'm driving it or if the old man's driving this Mach 1. If uh, something's going to fail, it's going to fail. It's a mechanical part. So that's the way I've always looked at it. Uh, my cross rockets, back when I had my lowered stunt swing arm 1000 RR, uh, that bike got rode very hard and beat on. Everything I have had, uh, I've beat on. I broke a lot of stuff too. It sucks, but I'm not going to worry about breaking my stuff or scratching it. There again, scratches suck, but I enjoy my stuff. I'm not scared to power break the hell out of it and do a big burnout. Just how it is with me. So, um, if you guys like this stuff, uh, like and subscribe, please. It'd help us out. Um, and also, what do you guys think I should do with the Mach 1? I'm going to get a video put together of it again here. And uh, let's see. I really, really don't want to sell the car. My initial plan was, well, I'll get into that with the Mach 1 video. But anyway, um, it's Wednesday. Daughter's got dance class here shortly. So I'm going to jump off here and get her to dance. And uh, thank you guys for watching. God bless.